so what we've done is we've got a couple of small plates we drilled a couple of holes in that a couple of bolts in it and we've used that to compress the brake pipe stop any fluid coming out the bottom we've got a wee pair of caliper pliers on there as well just to be extra secure but there's not been any drips from the, the brake fluid at all so it seems to be doing its job and working fine about Heath Robinson but it seemed to work So this is the, the caliper, we've got the, the pads removed and the spring clip removed, you'll see there's four pistons in there, we've got two pistons seized, we've removed the banjo, which is the hydraulic oil feed to the caliper, and we've um, got all the other stuff off and Pat's now going to remove the caliper so we can work on that. So remove the caliper, which is very heavy, take care, and there you are, that's the caliper off, and as you can see, it's very dirty and the bottom of this piston here and the bottom of the right my right is seized and the I think it's the top one and the other side is also seized and we also have a problem with the inner bleed nipple which seems to be turning inner. so we need to remove if that I just show you here place that there. the inner bleed that nipple one. so it's a tendency of people who are bleeding the brakes not to touch that one because it's quite difficult and it'll strip the threads on it or strip the, the actual nut itself so we'll get that into the workbench, we'll have a look at it, we'll take it together and we'll show you as um, try to free up these calipers. So this is us, managed to move these two pistons here at the moment, this one here was stuck and we used a, a, a compressed air gun to put compressed air into the, the caliper and pop that piston out. So we're going to order a new piston kit because the pistons are all damaged, so in order to get all the four pistons out at once, we've got to put this bit of wood in here and put the compressed aid in to blow all the pistons out so they can all be removed at once. Again we're using the mobile compressor but it should be enough. Put the big buttons on. That's them all out. So if you remove this bit of wood now, you can see all the four pistons are out three quarters way and at that point we can grab them all and take them all out. So we can do now. Just got a pair of grips. Just about, they do come out quite easy once they're, once they're loose and once you've got them moving, they should come out fairly easy. There's two out. This one's still got the dust seal on it, so... I'm not really bothered about the dust seal because we're going to replace them all anyway. There you go, there's three, and the last one. Just let me get a clip of it here. So I'm twisting and pulling at the same time. There you go. So the four pistons are out. One two, three, and there was one, the first one we took out, we actually had to rip it to shreds to get out, and there's the four pistons, you can see where the seal goes, here, if you look at that there closely, all the chrome is coming off the pistons, so that's unusable, that one's there, it's not too bad, but that one get away with that. This one again, look at this here, you can see where it's all pitted there, that's where it's going to break the seal, and this one here is really damaged here, look at all that damage there. So they're not worth putting back in.
this is the, the brake caliper I've kind of a, gave it a, a quick rough coat of paint you'll notice the pistons are, <coughs> are still in there and um, we notice these uh, two lugs that we've got here um, this here and there's one at the other side and what we had to do was to take that off uh, uh, to get us into this a replacement bleed nipple here so we had to take that off to try and get a socket on the old one to get it out so we managed to do that uh, these bolts basically come out um, I never took the other one off because we don't really need to take that one off so that allowed us to get a socket in there so I'll just replace that I'm not actually sure what these are for I'd imagine maybe balance and our vibration for the, the caliper itself however I've got it off anyway so I'm just waiting on Pat coming back with the, uh, the, the new bits for this and the intention also is to replace the two um, discs on the car or you would call them in other countries the rotors so we've got these coming this morning as well and we'll, um, we'll show you us putting the, the rotors on and hopefully we'll be able to show you us replacing these pistons and all the seals that go in there now we've cleaned up the caliper, we've removed the pistons again, there they're there, and we're now going to remove the inner seal for the the, the pistons. And you get a wee pick and all you do is pull it out and it comes out as easy as that. And the same on the other end, that's just for protection for we're cleaning it, the wee bits of tissue. So obviously it's important to keep this inside here as clean as you can. So you can see the see the rubber there, look, you get the pick in, go underneath and grab it, oh, well, I'll try and get it this way, there you go, that's three out, and the last one, that's the four seals out, so the use was a bit tricky to get in, See there in the right, the wee recess, the sitting. A recess there, and then it's that's the one with the, the rubber in it. And it's just a case of manipulating it with your fingers to you get it in place. Give it a nice clean. And you take your new seal, make sure you put it on the right way, which is going to go that way. And manipulate it on with your fingers, gently. No, and it should pop in. Nope, it is a bit tight, so just a case of putting it around. Now, the problem you get is it'll maybe twist, but if you just make sure, is that twisted? It is. So, if it does twist, just take it back off and start again. There you go. You tend to find once you get them on they'll pop in. So that goes like that and you can see when the piston's going to come out it'll do that. And the rubber's in the recess. And that's two done. Right, so tiny bit of red rubber keys again. Give it a wee smear. All round. So you take your piston put it in and the secret here is put it in square now it's, I'm using no effort whatsoever here and it's sliding in very very little effort ok and then once you put that in seat your dust seal maybe it's a better idea to push the piston right in flat ok we're going to turn it upside down in there and that is completely seated I can't push that in anymore does that look good yep okay we'll continue putting another three pistons in then we'll take it for there so we'll get us a six millimeter hexed key I'll take that off I have slackened that before Caliper just seems to have fallen off, no bother. 
So not a lot of not a lot of problems with that. If you look in the back of that, it's not the best condition, but maybe I think it's a camera off. We'll just stick that back in there the now so we don't lose it. This one needs a huge lip, huge lip all the way around, and this has got none whatsoever. So there's obviously a, quite a bit of wear here, although I'm not sure exact exact difference in thickness. Right, very heavy. So the only thing you do here is make sure you line up the retaining bolts with the correct hole, which is here. There you go. Wait a minute, hold on. And tell you about a copper slip for future foolproofing. So I get there. There you go, that's it. So I'm going to do the same with the outer pad. Again, a slither of copper gets at each end. Take it carefully and slide it in. And that, oh, that's both pads in, but they slid in no one. But the only other thing I need to do now is right, it's actually slid in too far, but I can push it back out again. There you are. So I've now got both pads, and what I need to do now is take one of my new pins from the fixing kit. position here. Again, copper slip. Any parts that are metal to metal and are moving, just always have a bit of copper slip. And it goes from the back. So you've got the hole there, you've got through the piston, through the piston, through the copper, through, through the pad. Through the pad the outer piston and you line up with this hole here and all these there is tapped with a gently tap and make sure it's in line but you'll, there's a danger you'll crack your finish off now that's us the calipers back on the two big bolts are in the banjo bolts back on the sensors back on the two new rubber caps for the bleed nipples are back on they're both on and the only thing I have to do is put this piece back on here. We left this off because it made it easier to access this bleed nipple here. Um, it's quite heavy, so I'm assuming it's something to do with either anti-vibration or, or balance of some kind of the caliper. So all I have to do is... And it's there. All I have to do is put this back on. Like so. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not